and the poisonous comb. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there was a large castle where Snow White, Prince Antoine, and the seven dwarves lived together. One day, Prince Antoine and Snow White went for a horseback ride, and the dwarves decided to go for a walk too. But on the forest road, someone was watching from behind a tree. It was a dwarf girl who had white hair and freckles. She was frightened of the royal guards and tall horses, so she stayed hidden. A few days later, in Hela's cave, Dunkov was still trying to turn Queen Hela back into a human. Bippity boppity boo. My dear queen, I have a perfect idea to bring you back. I've read in a fairy tale, if a young prince kisses you... Dunkov opened the youth spell from the Book of Spells. He said the magic words. Spell, spell, see my big tooth? Give me the spell of youth. He turned himself into a very handsome prince. Hella was surprised. Dunkov kissed the frog gently. And sure enough, the frog spell was broken. <laughs> wow! <laughs> well done! Who would have thought you'd have the brains to figure that one out? Now turn back to your ugly self, Dunkov. But, but my queen, I, I look great now like this! But with a wave of her hand, she turned Dunkov back into himself again. But just then, Hella noticed some muddy footprints on the cave floor. Dunkov! Shh! Don't move. There's someone else here. Hella followed the muddy footprints that led back behind a bookshelf in the cave. And behind the books was a dwarf with freckles and white curly hair. You! Who are you? And what are you doing here? Tell me now. The cute, freckled dwarf came out of her hiding place. I'm sorry. I was cold and I needed a place to sleep. I was looking for the cottage of the seven dwarves, but I lost my way in the forest. Mom, my name is Freckled. Hmm. Freckled, I can help. The seven dwarves now live in the castle of Snow White, not in the forest. In a castle? I've met the dwarves. They are full of themselves and probably didn't care that you were wandering around in the dangerous forest. <laughs> Look here at my crystal ball. Hella showed the little dwarf how happy the dwarves were in the castle, and Freckles felt alone and left out. Let me tell you a secret, Freckled. You just need to do something nice for Snow White, and then they will all be your friends. Here, take this comb and brush her hair with it, and you will be as popular as she is. Then they will invite you too to live in their castle. But Hella didn't tell her that she was going to poison the comb. She would put a spell on it so that as soon as it touches Snow White's hair, it would make the beautiful princess turn ugly and old. Freckled took the comb and put it in her bag and the evil queen sent her on the road to the castle. While Freckled walked through the forest, a colorful bird flew above her. One of its pretty feathers fell right down into Freckled's hand. And so she put it in her hair. It must have been magical 
because it suddenly changed Freckles' white hair into a golden blonde color. She liked it very much. On the same path, the seven dwarves were coming back from the mine to go back to the castle. Then the seven dwarves saw Freckled with the bright golden hair. I think there's someone out there. Oh, someone just like us. Oh, but beautiful. The dwarves ran up to Freckled and met her. Shy's cheeks immediately flushed when he shook hands with Freckled. Uh, well, would you like to come to the castle with us sometime? I would love that. Hella watched all of this through her crystal ball and was delighted to see that everything was going just as she had planned. <laughs> the dwarves finally arrived at the castle. For the first time in her life, the freckled dwarf saw a large castle and such a beautiful garden. Snow White came out to greet the dwarves. Oh my, hello. There is someone new here. I'm Snow White. You must be the new friend of the seven dwarves. Yes, my princess. My name is Freckled. Thank you, my princess. Freckled told Snow White that she no longer wanted to live alone and would like to live with them in the castle. I'll prepare a room for you, Freckled. You're so kind. You have really nice hair. It's beautiful. So soft and silky. Let me comb your hair with the comb I brought for you. Freckled started to comb Snow White's hair with the comb, unaware that the evil Hella had poisoned it with a spell. And just as it touched Snow White's hair, her hair suddenly turned white. Snow White's face became old and wrinkled. Snow White, Princess, what has happened to your face? It's done. <laughs> the princess leaned over the edge of the tiny pool and looked at her reflection in the water. Oh no, no, what has happened to me? The dwarves immediately took the comb from Freckled's hand and threw it in the water. Why did you do that, Freckled? I didn't know the comb was poisonous. A woman named Hella gave it to me to comb Snow White's hair. I'm so sorry. Hella! Wait, I know, Princess. I can change you back with this feather. How are you going to change her back? Freckles took the colored feather from her hair and put it in Snow White's hair. And then the beauty of Snow White slowly turned back. Thank you, Freckled. Don't take anything from the people you don't know, Freckled. It worked. Good job, Freckled. Yay, yay. Yay. From then on, the freckled dwarf was happy and lived with her friends in the castle. Ah, she survived again. Why can't I win just once? I hate Snow White. <laughs> <laughs>